welcome back to box number 73 of the amazing collection unboxing. This week we have a box labeled Briar Bowls to keep. So maybe there's some fun stuff in here. Let's find out. Our first bowl looks like the Briar uh, Ch Charolais Bowl. Sculpted by Chris Hess, kind of in the mid 70s. Um, and made for a very long time in this white classic Charolais color. He um, is in pretty nice condition. He was produced for a very long time, probably the mid 70s through the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, when he is sculpted, his horns and his ears are put on afterwards and he has pretty distinct seam lines. So you can see that on this particular model. He was made for a long time. He's pretty common, but he's pretty popular and a nice model, so a good start. And this collector loved him some bowls, so we have another one. Now this one is uh, quite different. It probably doesn't show up on camera, but this guy is nearly pure white. This guy's got a little bit more of a yellow tone. Um, he has much lighter pinking in the ears and his nose. This guy's is very orangey pink. Um, this guy has tan or shell hooves while this guy has gray hooves. As model horse collectors, we look for these kind of variations and we use them to kind of track models through time, whether it's a family Arabian or one of the other models where the hoof color changed and the pattern changed. So what I'd say is this one's probably one of the older original models with the gray hooves and the pinker um, accents on his face. This is probably one of the newer ones. This guy is in really lovely condition, very snowy white, very nicely painted, got a little bit of highlights sort of through the different muscle grooves. So definitely something that a variation collector would be interested in. I don't know if there's quite as many bull variation collectors as there are horse, but that's what those guys are. Next, we have the Black Angus Bull, also sculpted by Chris Hess, and um, also originally sculpted in that kind of mid-70s era, if I remember correctly. He did a couple of different models during that time. And in this original black, he was also produced for a long time. So like the Charolais from the time he was produced in the mid 70s, 75, 78, somewhere in there. Um, he was also produced for a long time up through the late 90s, early 2000s. His ears are also made separately and put on. And he definitely has where you would join the, the pieces of the mold together. Somebody just kind of blocked on the... Um, whether they use plastic or some something to connect the pieces of the mold together. He's got very shiny spots in the back of his ears where his ears are connected. He doesn't really have any other detail on him, but he is probably a very scarce piece. It won't show up in video, but he has by eyes. I've talked about this before. What happened for a very short period of time, like maybe six months to a year, Briar decided to add a little extra detail to their models and they just had the painters take and put a little bit of brown around the outside so that you could sort of define the iris area of the animal. And so he is one of those bi-eyed pieces. We've seen a few in a couple of the other boxes over the time that we've had. So this guy, even though he was made for a very long time, because he has those bi-eyes, his window of production is narrowed down to that kind of six month period. So he's a pretty nice guy. He's in very nice condition. Um, not much you can do with him because he's basically just the solid black of the plastic, but he definitely doesn't have any brakes, chips, or scuffs. So he's in pretty nice condition and he's a pretty rare guy not being produced for very long. So he's a nice one. Next we have the Brahma Bowl. Now this guy, sculpted by Chris Hess, was produced um, late 50s originally. And he is a nice example of a Boss Indicus um, Brahma Bowl. 
Again, his ears and horns were at were molded separately and attached. His are much nicer um, joining connection than the last guy that we saw. Now this guy, even though he was made originally in 57, 58, um, this guy was made much later, like, like our others. Once that mold is made in the original color, they're usually made for a very long period of time. So he was made from 58 all the way through the 60s and into the 70s. And this is one of those later ones. He could even be, sometimes they would take and re-release them and do a little different, like maybe a little darker, a little different pattern on them. I'm not as familiar with the cows as I am with the horses, um, but he would definitely be later in the run, so he would be into the 70s, possibly 80s. And he just has regular dark painted eyes. He's matte gray, and he's in very nice condition. He has a few scuffs, but nothing too bad. Um, and his paint job is really nice. He's very attractive with that dark head and neck, the dark accents, and then the lighter through the belly. So he's just a really nice example of the Brahmin bull. And last we have, ooh, this guy looks like a special run. It's the Spanish Fighting Bull. And this looks like a Briarfest special run bag to me. Yep. So he has his Briar special run number 710604. Again, those six digit numbers on a model are an indication that they're a special run. And generally, the last two numbers will be the year. So I would imagine this model was made in 2004. He's the Spanish Fighting Bull in a really, really attractive, chalky, sort of, matte roan pinto with splatters. <laughs> um, and he also has a little bit of eye detailing. He's got really all the bells and whistles. Briar does a really nice job when they do their Briarfest special runs, usually the animal will have a lot of extra detailing and this guy really shows it. So his actual pinto markings are the original plastic, the white plastic, but then he was painted white. So the back end of him and the tail back here, this is what we would call a chalky finish where he's paint base coated white and then the paint's applied over the top of it. So he has a lot of different paint techniques going on from the masking of the pinto pattern to the laying down of the chalky then airbrushing that uh, brown over the top and then he's got little black splatters all over him he is before the era of the vin number and when they started marking him with the briar fest on the belly um, usually the animal models are made in lower quantities so i'm going to guess between 500 and 700 of these were made. He's probably pretty popular because it's a popular mold. They like the Spanish fighting bowl and this paint job is just really stunning on him and he really probably didn't have a lot of them made. So this was a really cool box, not a whole um, heck of a lot of variety because they were all bulls, but hey, we enjoy them and you definitely got to learn a little bit, didn't you? Thank you. Thank you for joining me and join me again next week and we'll see what I come up with with the next box.